NDTV Control Alt Defense, powered by IFCO Tokyo General Insurance. The evolution of Indian air power is dependent to a large extent on what happens with stealth platforms. India has a very ambitious plan. It's called the AMCA, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. It's still in the project development stage, and we are at the Aeronautical Development Agency. This is the nodal agency which is developing India's stealth future. I'm joined by our science editor, Pallav Bagla, who is very much into uh, aspects of aviation. But um, we're also joined by the man who is, in a sense, uh, behind AMCA at least this stage, uh, in terms of leading the entire uh, project itself. Uh, Jitendra Jadav is the Director General of, of ADA, the Aeronautical Development Agency. And so this is what you're looking to prototype and roll out in 27, 28. Is that 27, 28, roughly. 27, 28. And um, why would this mark a real evolution in Indian air power once it comes out, in simple terms? Yeah. See, AMCA is a stealth fighter. So why it called stealth fighter is because it has got a uh, power to fool the enemy radars and enter into enemy territory. So such a fighters are only made by two or three countries in the world. And for this, we need a lot of stealth materials required because if you don't have a materials on the aircraft, it cannot do this. So that is why it's a revolutionary in the way of the material science development also the technologies. If you see today, all AI, ML technologies are already getting incorporated into this AMCA. Yeah. So the pilot workload and all will get very less. Right. And so uh, the, stealth, the, the key characteristics are of course the shaping of the platform itself. Um, stealth characteristics are critical. How difficult has it been for India to develop this? Because a lot of this nobody offers. Correct. It's not like you can go to a shop and say, I'd like that piece of stealth technology. Correct. You've had to do it at home. Yeah. That means profound engineering, profound standing, uh, science at the level of engineering, uh, aerodynamics, uh, carbon composites, other composites, um, and then shaping it and all putting it together. How challenging has that process been? So it was very challenging because uh, we are almost started with first version and we concluded only on 20th version on the drawing right. board. So because as you rightly said, the complete shaping is most important for the stealth aircraft. Apart from the shaping, the development of materials because normal composites doesn't work. So we need a radar absorbent structures where the composite and the stealth material is embedded. So that has been developed. So what we did here is Basically, before taking a full development and engineering project, we have taken a lead technology development project. Mm. And then we developed all the niche technologies which are having a technology gap in the country and developed and kept it ready. So that is why today we are very confident. Dr. Jada, yeah. can, can you give us some of the basic statistics for uh, the AMCA? What will be the kind of weight? What kind of weapons? And where will the stealth weapons be stored? Yeah. So, this is basically a 25-ton uh, all-of-weight class and the weapons are already embedded inside the belly of the aircraft. They are not outside, though here it is shown outside. There are two... That gives you the option. That gives the option for non-stealth option. But when it is a stealth option, the weapons are inside the... So, internal, weapons can we see here? Inter internal yeah. weapon bay. You can this, have this, a look. This is the, this is the internal yeah, weapon bay, right? Yeah, this is the right internal here. weapon bay where we can carry missiles, standoff weapons, everything. When this goes into enemy territory, the radar which the enemy is throwing gets absorbed. That so is called stealth material. That is stealth. And that is the beauty about this. That plane. is the beauty of it. Okay. And, and we've, we've come forward from our Tejas. From much there. forward. Because we'll talk about a much Tejas, sir, in a moment. But I think some of the key technologies you were talking about, which you've had to develop. And you've had to develop this in order for these to be in a state which you can install into our yeah. AMCA once so it comes very, to the very, us a, very important a is a flight control system. Mm. So the complete flight control system actuators and the control system computer all has been developed in-house and it is ready to fit. And I think the basic question, Pallav, and I find this interesting, 
is who has developed this. this we have a pool of scientists and pool, engineers. Now there are pool of scientists, engineers, and pool of industries. That is most important. So this is developed along with industries. And that's a key part of the entire project, a yeah. public-private partnership. For example, I was reading over here, this stabilated actuator is technology transferred to Godrej. Yeah. So it's your design, which Godrej will manufacture at the precision and accuracy that you require, because you can't go wrong in yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah. So quality control is Absolutely the most important, important. A, a key part. Absolutely. Very important. much. Because, because we need fail Because these actuators, only one or two industries in the world mix. And we are today one of and them. each is one crore, right? Around that. It depends upon the tonnage and, and all that. And this is, uh, this actuator that you're talking about is for um, the maneuverability of the aircraft, the, uh, the, the pitch of the aircraft, Absolutely. And the role of the aircraft. Absolutely. Uh, all attitudes well. of the aircraft. The attitudes of the aircraft. Come. What else do we see here? So, I will take you to drive these actuators. We need a computer. So, this is also called a digital fly-by-wire computer. That is also developed totally indigenous. Quadruplex redundancy. Quadruplex redundancy. Pallav? Wonderful. So huh? fail proof. Fail proof uh, four times four over. Times four over. times over. Right? Amazing. And this has come through an evolution because when the Tejas was initially rolled out, you had a variation of this. Uh, as I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong, this has evolved over a period of time. Uh, it's better. The software is more robust. Uh, and... Uh, it's proven to be an incredibly safe system. Yeah. I mean, by the grace of God, they just losses have been just one aircraft. And yeah. we don't want to talk about that too much, but that has a great deal to do, Pallav, I would suggest. And, and is, the, the, so, is, is the, the software also developed Software here is under... totally in-house. So we so have full control. Let's look at this for a second. Uh, and it just looks like a box, but what, what's inside that box is absolutely state of the art. Right? Absolutely state of the art, because it has a... Microcomputers, microcontrollers, uh, specially designed ASICs, all this stuff is there. And this software is, um, is going to, the system is going to go into the AMCA, quite obviously. Yeah. Uh, and could you tell us about how this at least compares on paper with what, let's say, the West or some of their systems? No, I are? think we are, we, we are on par with the contemporary aircraft, whichever you name it. And also we are planning to put AI and ML into it. So we'll be much more advanced than the contemporary fifth generation. I think that's really interesting, Pallav. Correct. Right? So fifth, fifth generation plus then. Plus, eh? No, and, and the, the fact is that to design something like this and to manufacture it with the robustness that you require is a process which has taken decades. Yeah. Uh, in improving it incrementally. And this lies, this is the heart of the system. And I'd just like our camera people to focus once again <laughs> on this box because it, it is critical. Uh, and uh, it, it is absolutely key and it is at the heart of ensuring that this stealth platform, which is an unstable design, flies safely. Yeah. And by unstable design, what do we mean, sir? Unstable design means we get a better agility to, uh, to do the more maneuvering and all that. So we it keep would drop like a brick, right? Yeah. Without we, the we, because without we the kept it unstable, so that by control system we can get a very good maneuverability, agility, for which is required for the fighter aircraft. So which is why you would need a computer to control it, and yeah. the pilot may not be able to do that agility as quickly. What else do we see here? So we have a avionics, which is a state of art avionics. What about this one? This so seems these are very all very important. They are all. Uh, what, you, what we call it as conformal antennas. So they are all required for the stealth aircraft. So all these conformal antennas are developed at the private company and they are all available. So this, to, would, this would also conform to stealth technology yes, fully because yes, that's why yes. it's rounded. It's a, that's why it is shaped to the uh, surface. Wonderful. They are shaped to the surface. And, and it's developed by Indian companies yeah, over there. Yeah. We've got the Vardent, names of these. Vardent. Vardent, uh, and so that's, that's incredible. To see of private companies come of age. Now, this was not the case. Even 15 years ago, they were in a state of infancy. Other than the big ones like Godrej, etc., etc., which have also improved. But to see smaller manufacturers, and these are MSMEs, uh, you know, come to the table. I was which, telling which to Pallav, fantastic. today we have more than 100 design work centers established and more than 350 industries on board. 
right. and and the same ecosystem of LCA which we have developed is been leveraged totally for this program. Okay, but sir, now let me ask you the tough questions. You're rolling out 27, 28, uh, and obviously there's a period of time before she's going to fly. How much time would that it's be? It's about eight to nine months. Okay, so 27, 28 likely roll out, uh, eight to nine months before she flies, and then typically the development cycle before she is offered to the Air Force for purchase. We need to do about flight test about four years or four years, four to five years, four to five to years to get it into the induction acceptance. Right. Flight test will continue further, yeah. but at least major flight test where the so Mark One, uh, like Mark One, that uh, major flight test of the vehicle will get over. And then the induction will start. However, we'll continue the total flight test. So 2032, 2033 is about 34. 2034 is when you would be in a start inducting. Uh, the pro and then, of course, there's a process of manufacture. That's all, which is challenging because uh, it's a stealth, uh, well, because body. Because you you have a right question, but the process of challenging is I will show you there, huh. which we have already eliminated the, the challenges of the stealth airframe manufacturing yeah. and all yeah. and already ecosystem is established right. so i don't find any problem with it because all other systems are already same sure and the airframe manufacturing already stealth we have done yeah. lot of process experiments and the ecosystem is available so, so this you, is you are talking of the display ha ah, this, this is, is a, a special piece. display this is a single piece display because i was telling you lot of artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies will go into this amka it's not a normal fifth generation aircraft. It is fifth plus with a lot of electronic pilot technologies and all. So whenever we put an electronic pilot, it needs a very good situational awareness. So that situational awareness has been provided with the large display. And the key part, Pallav, as I understand it, of this is that it looks like one display. You can actually split it up into multiple, multiple displays, displays. Multiple displays. All interchangeable. All interchangeable. And this is made in India. This is made in India. Everything I'm is showing today is made or, in India. Or it is data, data, it pattern. is data patterns. Wonderful. What else do we say here? Let's straight go to I will take you to part. the mechanical systems. So all these mechanical systems, like engine gearbox, then its walls, all these are been ready for the fitment. Mm. They have developed for the LCA Mark II. Mm. And there is a need of small development for the AMCA, which is undergoing. But we are not finding a technology challenges in this because there is a lot of reusability of Mark II to the AMCA. Right. Now, on so, this, here we see the oxygen generator. Yeah. This is, is also, so important. This is also developed for and, Mark II. And, and Mark I already has this, right? Uh, Mark I doesn't have this. Mark I has a bottle. Right, right, right. So, this is onboard oxygen system to give a larger endurance. So this is critical, right? It, so it this basically is a, means that tanks with oxygen are no longer required or, or housed no. on board. So this generates oxygen, right? Yes. In a, in, and that's, that's the entire size of the Correct. unit. Correct. Yeah. And, and, and this was also used was during COVID, COVID time, time for providing oxygen. So <laughs> this, was what was, this was what was transformed. So who so builds this? This is built Debel. at our one of the laboratory called Debel. No, no, but this COVID story is fantastic. <laughs> Since you developed it, and we needed to breathe at that stage. Uh, the spin-off of it has been used at the COVID for generation of oxygen. And where? In hospitals? All over. It hospitals was deployed. It was deployed. And this will also be used somewhere, Vishnu. Trust me, in the crew module for Gaganyan. Because yeah. ISRO also needs an oxygen. But they, they won't be able to generate so much because they will be out of oxygen atmosphere. And, and what do we see here? Let's go straight to These your the, stealth technology. As uh, you have asked a question, are, how, uh, are you ready for the, the stealth the manufacturing? Yeah. So all the test boxes. Let's are, take a look at this. These, these are the. Yeah. So we can go these closer. Are the, so, so this is a carbon composite or what composite? No, this is a composite with stealth. This is a composite with stealth. stealth. All right. these parts are ready. So uh, this is a composite uh, body. Uh, we built this in-house. So this is going to be what the body uh, of the AMCA. AMCA is going to be yeah. built But on. it's a test sample right, correct. to understand the processing challenges and all. But what and composite is it? It's a carbon composite. It's a carbon composite. And, and how, does, is, it, how yeah. does it absorb the radar? What happens inside? See, in the carbon composite, while laying up the 
uh, structure we put this composite material embedded into it yeah and then layered layer right, right, right. so there is a layer of carbon composite and there is a layer of uh, radar absorbent structures yeah so the technology wise amca is quite ready you just need to put it together is okay, that a fair and we have to do little bit incremental development onto the mark 2 lrs right, right now right. now let's also take at a newer version we can of take the these stages. materials yes let's take a look this at the materials this is very important the lightweight material see amca being a higher weight category yeah we cannot develop such a aircraft if we, if we don't have a state of art lightweight materials mm. we cannot develop mm. so parallelly mm. we are taken action to develop lightweight alloys right. and they are also ready if you show i am able to show you all alloys of yeah. lightweight yeah. which are not so easily available no, no. Yeah. they are all been processed and bring and done at industry and we are ready for manufacturing so are this machine forged or yeah it there are uh, summer machine summer so forged this, this, this is, is forged. what lithium so this lithium. is forged and this is come of a machine machine this is lithium so aluminum. it's 3d printed no. no no that's for different structure that's the different structure we usually we are not using 3d printed for higher strength higher strength place i see you need to to rely on yeah, the, yeah. Uh, so all this materials coating yeah. development is ready this is one of the very excellent thing yeah. we are going for a green tech green coating yes yeah. amka will be green coating aircraft so this is not with why, the, why is that the case because as opposed to yellow right no today we are whatever coatings we are doing oh. anodization or uh, whatever chemical coatings we do there is always a element of poison eating hmm. cadmium we use yeah. we use this thing so we have done away with that Right. We are use a uh, chemicals yeah. which are not poisonous What? and which doesn't make fumes and all which are dangerous to the environment. So that is why we call it green technology. Oh, fantastic! And of course, this is the Tejas Mark II, which is going to be rolled out in a quicker period of time it, than the Amka. Yeah, it's, it's already be, building now, isn't it's it? It's already building. And so we are looking. So in a finite period of time, this should be out. and hopefully should fly faster as well this will fast fly in the next 6 months so that would be absolutely and, and, and incredible what engine will we be using this in this will be g414 engine are we expecting and for that? amka you you might actually 414 it, it's going to be 414 414 so it's not likely to have a safran engine or that whatever that is at the latter stage now the discussions are going but, on but but are they necessarily uh, interchangeable we need little bit adaptation because the engines cannot be interchangeable exactly i mean it's so not we need a little play. bit adaptation a minor adaptation we call it as not a major change. but that's not going to be a show stopper that not be a show stopper let's let's take a look at the, get back to our amca model the hero of the day so how soon do we see it flying sir that's what i already inform that probably 27 28 is the roll out and then within a Eight to nine months, it will take a flight. Well, sir, it's been fantastic speaking to you and getting an idea of some of the key technologies. When people, Pallav, talk about, you know, we must have a stealth platform, and where is the stealth platform? It's not just the stealth platform, but what goes in it. Correct. And again, it's not a supermarket that you walk to and say, "Give me this and give me that and give me a good price." You have to build it at home. And a lot of these technologies have evolved, as I understand it, over a period of time. And hopefully, once this does become a reality those technologies will all work and not even technologies we use complete digital engineering techniques to reduce the iterations and the design so design is totally done with augmented virtual reality techniques yeah. as well as the 3d digital engineering yeah. so that is the revolution you are asking revolution the revolution from the earlier program to this is is totally digital engineering fantastic and and this will all get on to what prime minister calls the Sudarshan Chakra. Yeah, yeah. Help in that. Yes. Well, Sudarshan Chakra is more of a of a shield, a missile shield, defensive and offensive. But this will be part of our air defenses. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So Thank much you. for speaking to us. Always a and, pleasure. And uh, you know, giving giving us an idea of what Amka is going to do. Thank you. About. Thank, Thank you. you.